yeah so like i said we'll just do this maybe a turn or two i can't imagine two but uh we'll play we'll play it at least your side of things see how things go i think it will will uh end in a end in a loss real quick but just to at least like not give some conclusion to this i guess is is what i'm looking for uh all right uh let's see it's my turn yeah uh, did we roll for weather i don't think we did we haven't done that we haven't now. done that Um, do I have anything else? Sorry, it's been a bit. <laughs> I gotta think about what I got. I don't think I have any rallies. No, I, I think the I think I'm the only one with rallies. A bunch of rallies everywhere. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm clear. I don't think I've got any broken equipment for a shocker. Um, so I'm just gonna start with this group first. Leader doesn't rally. That's cool. Uh, I have everybody here is under DM. So I'm taking one off. Uh, I got a bunch, so and I got it's a plus three total, I think. So two, three, four. None. That's your DM. That goes away. And then lastly, G five. And uh, no. No rallies. Uh, all right. Prep fire then. Uh hmm. Remember what color I am. You're the, the tan guys. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just. <laughs> Look, as long as you don't shoot into your melee, you're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I, I typically forget that for some reason. Okay, uh, the four four seven in ground floor here in K6. Mm -hmm. uh, can I fire at the adjacent units? Yep. They're down a level. Is that gonna... That shouldn't be great. Right? No. no. No, no. All right. Um, yeah, so the 447 here is gonna fire here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be um, eight, eight flat. flat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Three on eight is a K two. Uh, yeah, they're they're a half or a crew anyway, so they're dead. Um, that's Are nice you your ally, I think, right? Pretty sure I am. I'm just double checking real quick. Yeah, I am. Uh, sniper. Ooh. Um, oh boy. Five, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. So it goes to your stack here. Uh, I. How does that uh, work? Can I choose a location within, or I have to actually double check? Um, German target hex. Uh, yeah, if it contains more than one location occupied by eligible units, sniper player selects which of those locations to attack. Um, ooh. Uh, I'll pick. You know what? Because you're in melee, yeah, I'll pick the melee just because we're. That should make things easier. Either I'll kill a hero or break the squad. All right, uh, hero or squad. Yeah, random selection. All right, so squad breaks. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Well, it was either that or potentially kill the the leader. I didn't. I just didn't want to risk like getting the crew really, or half squad or whatever it is. 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Heavy machine gun in K6 is going to fire at um, K5. Okay. Let's set that there just for reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so 12 uh, up 2. Should be up 2. It's up 3 for the rubble and then down 1 for the leader. Yeah. Unless rubble, for whatever reason, is more, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, there we go. It, it didn't... Uh, does it... No, okay, you're good. It's not a B11. Actually, wow, that is... Why is that not on the counter? Interesting. What were you saying? The 410 doesn't show B11 on it. But no, 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 I, I know. I just, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be over. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to get in there. Yeah, this is, well, yeah, we'll see. I don't have, uh, I only have one crew with front. <laughs> A couple guys in the rubble. Sorry, I'm getting some comments. Yeah, no worries. good or yeah uh, uh okay um the 447 with the lmg in i5 is going to fire at the two units in i4 uh, okay they 
it should, I think they're both on the ground level, so. So that is going to be a 12 up 3. Uh, yep. Yeah. Those dice are weird. I was gonna make the joke that like uh, I'm just gonna suss out all your good rolls for and then like we will switch over to the next scenario and it'll start going poorly but um yeah big old pressing X to doubt right now in a building that does not have a stairwell in a hex that means there's no link between the locations correct correct so uh for example where we have our me melee the l2 the ground floor can't shoot the upper floor because there's no connection to it yep okay uh all right um the unit in k2 is going to fire at the conscript unit next to it mm -hmm. so that's going to be um eight Yeah, well, this is like a, such a weird spread. Uh, it was what K two, so yeah, it's a K two and a stop. Uh, all right, so they are half squad broken. It's... Sniper is very active today. Weirdly, five, one, two, three, five. All right, well, you can probably imagine it's going to your um, good leader. Uh, all right, so he is wounded. Uh, well, it's a uh, you. You still have the the crew there, right? So it's uh, random selection between the two, and it's a potential wound or a pin on the crew. So pin crew. That's the same thing I was worried about uh, earlier. It's like uh, for the the other location. Yep. Oh, I understand. Uh, okay. Moon phase. That's where it gets fun. The leader in the building okay. is going to assault move there. Sure. squad in here is going to CX. Okay. One. Uh, two, but yeah. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, two. Yeah. Four. Mm -hmm. Six. Alright. Stay. And I think that's everybody I've got. That's fire. All right. Um, we're gonna view those guys out. Uh, the guys outside the building, um, that aren't CX will fart group against your prep fire guy. Uh, ten twenty-two up four. 11 on 22, maybe normal? Yeah, normal. Okay. Ooh. 
four. All right. Uh, let's I, see. I think your modifier is a plus one, maybe. Um, you're what? Army? Legion? I forget. What's the? I think army. Uh, we are. Just, uh, it just says mixed, mixed but that doesn't. Yeah. Um, sadly, it doesn't mean anything. Is there lead of generation? Is that heat of battle? Yeah, honestly, I would put it as regular army. Just unless it's supposed to be like. Um, this actually, uh, scenario card says four four seven. Four four sevens army. Yeah. Okay. So army, uh, you got a plus two heat of battle. I to surrender. Uh, I don't think we would. I think uh, no quarters in effect. So, or oh, okay, never mind. Except for regular army. Hmm. Get the get that hero. <laughs> uh, when did we say right? No quarter was in effect. I don't see it anywhere in the. Uh, it's um normally it's in effect, but it it's not if you're a regular army. We're Italians, but we're not going to see Italians for another little bit. So yeah, just a plus two. Seven. Uh, battle hardening. No hero. So, uh, actually, are there any other modifiers? Are you guys elite? No. Nah, we're second line troops. Yeah, so it's just, yeah, it's just a plus two. So battle hardening, which means they become... Uh, Hmm. They can't. Four, five, sevens? They're first time. So, the problem is um, the the way that the chart goes, uh, I don't think they can technically go higher. Uh, what's the notes? Which of towering? Oh, this is one of those cases where it's not specified. Because normally if you couldn't go higher, which is kind of what I would I would take this to be, um, because on the on the chart it shows army, like 447s are the highest, normally you would go fanatic, but you're already fanatic. So you can't, I don't think you can double fanatic unless it's just instead of... Um, the sort of temporary nature of being in the building fanatic, you're just permanently fanatic, which is probably what it'll be. Um, so, I mean, I don't think it has any, it'll have any clear effect, so yeah, okay, we'll just leave it at fanatic. Yeah. Um, and already, there's no scenic generator. Yeah, and I don't think, uh, I don't think it'll keep a battle. Um, okay, well, while I potentially look that up, uh, the CX guys are going to shoot the civilians and the settlers because they're bastards. Um, I'm pretty sure it's it's going to be doubled. It's going to be halved because I'm shooting into a cellar. Uh, so it's just six. I think cellar still gets the plus three. So nine on six. Pretty sure it's nothing. Um... Yeah, no, nothing. And no other shots, because I can't take any others. Advance fire, please. So, routes. Um, these guys. guys. Well, I have to, I'd have to wrap. The only thing I have there is. Uh, you're, you, um, so because he's in melee, you'll have to attempt to withdraw from melee. Yep, yep. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't happen until CC phase. But, uh, oh, this guy has to route, so he'll go back here, and then to get in here. Should be fine. I think it's just four. So He's disrupted, so can he even do that? Um, that's true. Uh, I think he's got to stop once he gets into the building. He log crawls into the building. Right? Yeah, I think that's uh, that might be right. Uh, and I'll move this guy up so that. 
Um, yeah, and I think that's it. Uh, advances. We'll advance into the melee. These guys will advance there. Leader will advance into the group. That's it for advances. Right. We have a seller question, actually. Hmm? Can you advance, like, could I have those guys advance into the seller here? Are the sellers connected? I don't think sellers are connected. I'd have to... Hmm. That's in the, the funky, uh, funky ones, right? Uh, yeah, like, you wouldn't see it in... Um, unless you check uh, the campaign game sellers uh, B23.41 oh this is the other other <laughs> seller of you uh, fell into a seller and died uh, that is different than what I'm looking for yeah it's uh, red brigades or whatever it's yeah like, oh. um, red barricades that's Uh, another non rooftop. Oh wow, it's always considered a fortified building location. Oh uh, yeah, plus four. So I had it I I thought it was just plus three. Interesting. Stairwell manhole or connecting trench or tunnel. Okay. Oh, uh Infantry already in a red RV seller may directly enter an adjacent RV seller location only if the two X symbol which are building next side is determined by the building's position. Oh, okay. So basically, uh, uh, is there a good example? Not really. There's some buildings that wouldn't um, you wouldn't be able to make it. But I don't think there's any on this map. Oh, uh, yeah. So example like R four Q four, you can't. If if sellers re existed, you couldn't. Obviously, because there's the space between, and they don't share that building. You know, now that I'm looking at it, could you have even fired? There's no stairwell on that hex. Uh, from I four to into the cellar. Yeah, there's I, no stairwell I, there. It's a, it's a small dot, right? The uh, that's the stairwell, right? So I was always under the assumption that a uh, cellar was uh, like an individual um, building location, like it's it's inherently connected to its itself. But uh, I could be wrong. And either way, it didn't. I don't have a. Yeah, no. I mean, it wasn't. You know. But uh, yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to look it up further. Also, I mean, it does, yeah, it does say via stairwell, manhole, or connecting trench or tunnel. And only as per B23922. B23922. Oh, which is talking about fortified building stuff. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, I probably wouldn't have been able to shoot him anyways. But even if we transferred the shot over to the squad that would have been valid, it wouldn't have, uh, it would have been a plus five total anyways. I don't yeah, think I, I, I think I can do it. I think I can go I four to J three. Uh, the guys in the cellar, yeah, you can move them to there. Yeah, they're gonna flee in panic. Yeah, it makes sense. So yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I think that's it for advance for the CC phase. Right. Just the one. So the broken unit does defend at full value, but it is trying to withdraw, and there is a minus two on it. Uh, yeah, so if I shoot it at the withdrawing unit, um, it'll have a minus two. There is the, the covering units, 
um, which there's at least the one squad you brought in, so there's you know plus one there. Uh, so technically, it'd only be a minus one if I'm attacking them. Um, the hero will go with the uh, full squad. I mean, I think I have to go after uh, your your normal squad and the hero. So it'll be a one to two uh, flat for me. And we are obviously attacking you, except for the squad that is broken. They are attempting to withdraw. Yeah, um, so it'll be a one to one. Done one. Yep. And not hand to hand. So, no. And yeah, keep going. Okay. Just suddenly changing more things than I was expecting. And what does that mean for the withdrawing squad? Did they successfully withdraw? Yeah, they're fine. Just because uh, I, it's it's more like if if I was attacking them, something would happen. But otherwise, they just uh, they're considered to survive. That's how I've always. Uh, or at least that how I understand it. Also, these guys aren't berserking anymore. Are they still CX? Um, my guys are. Your guys, uh, were. Oh, that's the other guys. Yeah, my guys are. Or at least I assume that's my CX. So I'm pretty sure that was my hero that jumped in afterwards. So that's my question. Did they get a plus one? Uh, yeah, it was four on the. Oh, yeah. So it was. Uh, sorry, I, I thought. Uh... Yeah, that, that I'm just making sure the modifiers right. I mean, if if they're dead, they're dead. That that is what it is. But... So so it's a casualty reduction. So um, the squad becomes a half squad. So we'll just we'll bring this back. Ah. Bringing these guys back. So the hero dies. The Or it's random selection. Pretty sure it's random selection. Uh, yeah, okay. So the hero dies. And then that and the squad. Uh, the D, the broken squad gets to, to right away into the fortified location. All right, um, right, and that's it for CC. Uh, so turn four, try to do this fast. Weather, no change. Uh, free rally, who do I want to take my free rally? Fives, fives. Uh, we'll try this guy. Nope. Um, this guy loses DM. Leader does come back. Does he rally his buddies? Absolutely not. Um, over here. One, two, three, four. Uh, it is a success. Uh, three successes. Uh, this guy, nope. Uh, starting here, I'm going to rally with the leader there. Yeah. Oops. And I got some guns to repair finally, so we'll start with the medium machine gun. Mm -hmm. Medium light machine gun. I think that's it. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, prep fire phase. I don't think I have any.
four. No. Um, we'll go into uh, movement phase. Uh, this guy will lose CX assault moves into J5. Sorry. Mm. I'm thinking I forgot I worked in that money. Um. Yeah, re well, no. Okay, uh, the unit in K6 will fire at him. So that's going to be an 8 of 3. Okay. Man, sniper number again. Uh, eight up, three six. Pretty sure it's a one MC. Yep. Surprisingly, pass. My sniper is too I active see. today. I can see. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Where is this going? Okay, so that that would kill him. There you go. That's still a melee. Yeah, I think in the interest of just saving time and going to a scenario that's more fun, since this one is, uh, I think maybe we'll just call this a draw. I have to remove all good order. Yeah, I think I'd have to come to a final conclusion later. But uh, all I mean, uh, for shits and giggles, um, uh. Random selection. Yeah, just gonna come right back to the, to the top. I'm assuming the top location. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. random selection if it's the leader or not. Okay, so it breaks his crew. What's well, a one? It kills him, right? Uh, no, it always breaks a MMC. The only and I mean, I house rule that a broken MMC should should get casualty reduction because otherwise it's you should get something out of a one, especially. Um, what's so the, yeah? So there you go. Uh, okay. Um. What are we looking at here? So you move there, you salt move there, so your rest of your moves. I'm finish off the turn. Let's finish off the turn. You're part of the turn. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that was that guy moving. Uh, guy with the DC will salt move to J6. Oh, final fire him. So, uh, four down one because it's open ground. Six on four is probably an NMC. Uh, pass. Double fours is weird. Um, okay. Can't do much with these guys. These guys will drop CX. Um, just go one at a time. Actually, I can only move uh, one because it's rubble. The rubble's three MF, so uh, one guy goes into L3. Uh, okay, then we will fire at him with the MMG. Okay. So it's going to be uh, eight up two. Up one. Uh, six on eight should be one MC uh, break, and then the other uh, conscripts will go to M three. Each control. Okay, no shots. Um, these guys that are CX will lose CX. Um, one squad will move to J3 for two. Okay. Four. Uh, 
Uh, I have no one that can fire at them. Uh, okay. Um, the other guy will go two, four. Uh, this stack will separately assault move into I4. Um, okay. All right, same second guy, same thing. Um, we'll do... Um, man, I really want to crop this thing too. Yeah, we'll do, uh, this guy will move, um, one, normal. Yeah, we got it. Um, all right, so it's gonna be eight um, two. down two. Uh, still six. Whoopsie. Fall enough times to get that. Two direction and break. Uh, Um, one crew with DC will move one. Actually, I don't. Yeah, I can't really shoot at him. Um, one, two, four. Okay. Uh, conscript in the same location. We'll do one, two, three, and then the partisans in the same location. We'll do one, two, uh, four. Okay. I think that's it for movement. Defense fire. Well. Uh, the unit in I-5 roll defense at the units in uh, I-4. Okay. So, four up three. Sure. That's an eight on four, which is nothing. Yeah, it just missed a task check, I think. Okay. Um, advanced fire phase. Oh, that ruins my my circling. Um, okay, we're gonna go crazy, uh, and we're gonna have um, these guys with DCs are going to toss them. Um, hmm? They're below. They can't toss one up. I think you can toss one up, no. What? I thought you could toss at least one up. Uh, what? They put on the end. Six. Okay, well, uh, that's bad. Um, well, we'll at least do um, the squad. Uh, we'll shoot. It's a uh, three firepower up four. It's not meant to do anything. Same thing with this guy. We'll also shoot. Uh, they're all shooting at the ground level. Um, uh, that's going to be coward. So it'd be a one. Actually, they're conscripts. So they cower twice. So nothing. Which invalidates encirclement. That sucks. Uh... These guys will shoot at your final fired guy for six of four. They will cower. At least I'm pretty sure I'm not immune to that. Um, so it'd be a four, a four, 
Yeah, no. Um, nobody else has shots. Uh, Are these guys firing? No. Just because I, I can't... I wouldn't be able to encircle these guys, and because these guys cowered, uh, I'm pretty sure I can't encircle this guy. My, my masterful plan unraveling. <laughs> um, routes, this guy's going to go back. These uh, guys aren't firing at all? Just out of curiosity? No. Just because like, I could get six, uh, but plus four, honestly, is really tough. And uh, judging by my rolls, like, I'd probably just trigger a sniper at some point. Um, these guys back to routes. Uh, hmm. They can technically see these guys, so they would have to chance uh, low crawl. Go low crawl there. I don't think I have anybody else. And um, your guys here can technically route up. And actually, if they do, you can also save the leader by going upstairs with them. Yep. All right. If there's any, if there's nothing else, then uh, advances. I haven't broken you, so I can't do much there. Can't go upstairs. Um, these guys will both advance into the rubble, which is at a higher height, so they have CX. Uh, these guys will go here. These guys will spread out. Um, these two guys will... Actually, one will go into the melee. Hopefully that'll work. The berserk comes off. The other guy will go into the fortified location. Oh, uh, these conscripts will also come in here. This CX should have come off. These guys into the orchard. Uh, CC, there's no new ones, so we just have the uh, continuation. This time it's a 9 to 4, so 2 to 1, down 1. That'll be a kill, or whatever. I'm sure you'll, you're going to target uh, one to one versus. We'll put the um, the hero with the three three sevens because otherwise, it'd make it at least worthwhile for yeah, you to target. Yeah, we'll go after the go after those guys. Yeah. Nothing. Um, I concede. I don't want to fight this out. Yeah, I'm kind of. I mean, I might just mark this as a tie to be honest, because. If, yeah, I think you're going to get it. Between the encirclements and everything else, you got a lot of guys inside the building. And I do not have very many full strength spots. In fact, I have three. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the only reason I would mark it, but I, I don't want to call it for one side, is just because of the way that... Um, un if everybody is outside of good order, which is going to be really tough to do... Um, uh, like... We haven't really, you haven't really suffered morale checks, so maybe the dice are, will be cold for that. Um, but the only reason I'm hesitant is just because um, they have a four morale, or uh, four, they have eight morale um, instead of seven because they're fanatic. It does make them harder to break, and it's just gonna be, it, it'd be tough to get into the fortified building locations, that's all. And the, if I don't break everybody, it goes into a VP rules. Which is about like controlling stuff and anyways. Um, maybe like I could potentially get uh, enough building locations to just like run people around and then um, essentially force you to have to move. So maybe we'll count it on that. But um, in any case, yeah, this one was um, this was um, this one felt weird from start to finish. I have to say. Um, you sent, yeah, I'm pretty sure you sent me the save, so I'm going to end this log file. I'll save this here. Just trying to make sure I'm not going to, like, load in the, the wrong stuff. And 
Also, I think I saw that um, uh, there is a um, there is a Panzer One counter, but it's like functionally not different, I, and I don't know why. <laughs> like, I don't know um, what the uh, why it would be marked that way. Okay, yeah, it was the save. Cool. Uh, so I am going to just be doing stuff in the background. Uh, I think it's your turn to go first. I'm pretty sure you... Yeah, uh, yeah, you move first. So um, take it away while I make expedition test. Also, it's 1937. We, we skipped uh, half a year. Yeah, that's that's the Spanish Civil War. There's a lot of stuff right at the beginning of that. Jack shit happened. <laughs> Everything just dies off. It's just kind of, it's weird in the sense that, like, um, a lot of other, uh, either scenario packs and, and other groups have done a lot of stuff, like, in between. But this pack just has this, like, weird, well, weird uh, jump of, like, six months out of nowhere. Oops, no, that's... Sorry, let me read the... Uh... Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no worries. I'm, just I'm just going through some uh, uh, text editing, which I messed up a thing. Damn it. I knew I did something wrong. Let me also see if I can find the uh, counters again. I'm pretty sure it was in the BFP stuff. And it's in Poland and Flames, I think. Yeah. So they have... Uh, I'm just going to put the 1As here. Get four of them. Um, and it's just kind of weird because the... The scenario card shows that they don't have a star on their six. Maybe it's just the way that they cropped it. Um, um, but, uh, movement is different as well. Yes. A and so I don't know which one to believe. Um, if you want to use the, the other ones, whatever. Uh, if you want to use the ones that we're already using, uh, uh, I'm more than fine with uh, with doing it that way. I don't know. I don't know which is supposed to technically be the official one, since those would be custom counters, and I don't think there's a mention uh, as um, as to where they come from. And I'm pretty sure this uh, scenario pack did not have custom counters to go with it, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm also just gonna see real quick if there's any um, if there's any like preference for side or anything. I should be curious about for their errata no yeah so uh yeah the, it's funny the um the snare archive lists the counter i pulled rather than what the uh the scenario card reflects so there's there's clearly a disconnect somewhere um all right so win condition uh all buildings adjacent to board 48 road so I'm just going to start putting a bunch of V's as well um, and toss the uh, turn marker because that's not there for some reason. This is what, six turns? Six turns. Uh, did I put my sniper out? No. Get the sniper out. It won't matter, so I'm just going to put them there. Yeah, two sides. Am 
19 rooms. This and your sand is ELR 4 and 2. That's pretty nice. Not good sniper, but pretty good ER. Sniper. Nice. This is going to be a beast. Um, just as a reminder, there is mist. So yep. Yep. Uh, greater than seven hex range, there's a plus one. Is it greater than seven or greater than six? Uh, greater, uh, sorry, it's greater than six. So, gotcha, gotcha. Than Seven or more. Can't wait to see the whites of their eyes. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think anybody anybody got a better range than twelve. No. Because there's a plus two at thirteen plus hexes. So. Uh, I mean, uh, I have one MMG, and if I shot long range, yeah, I would I could get that, but that's honestly the only way. ATRs ATR can't shoot long range. Yeah, the ATRs don't do anything. That's, that's it, so. Alright. Pretty sure that's all the buildings. Which, honestly, I don't see... I, I don't really see how you could play for buildings, but... We'll see, I guess. Oh, this is also one of the early scenarios, which um, if you don't do it, I'll talk about a, a sleazy thing you can do after the fact. Well, I'm probably not going to do it because I'm <laughs> not as entrenched in ASL culture as you are. It's more just kind of like one of those silly things that are, you could technically do, but like... It's hard to justify it, I guess, in a in a combat scenario. So, I'll uh, I'll tell you after the fact. It'll you'll, you'll you'll say it's silly. Trust me. That's gonna piss me off. <laughs> well, maybe maybe not. I think it's more just an irrational thing that would just like gets followed up with why along by and why. It's turned to the perp one. Sweet. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, whatever yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I did have my sniper up here. I had to actually think about what the hell I wanted to do here. Oh yeah. No worries. If you need more time, then just... no, 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 no. I'm fine. You want to get the turn order marker? Something. Yeah. Yeah. Just finishing up some final stuff. Uh, custom. No, but a change. German, because you're German. And I'm going to look for Russian to make it easier. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Is there anybody that you don't have line of sight on uh, from the get-go? I don't think you have line you of sight on this guy. Uh, Only this guy, this guy, this guy. Um, these guys probably not because they're down in the gully. Um, definitely yeah. added to that guy. I think, think, I think you can see the commissar. Uh, yeah, I would, yeah, say, I like, would say like no, I can't see the commissar. That guy's no, that's no block. Nah, I'm not going to string it. Um, these guys probably wouldn't get seen, but the woods I'm not entirely sure, so I'm not going to... Uh, and these guys can get seen. Alright, that's, uh, that's all I'm going to do for concealment. You can do uh, concealment as well. They're down on the gully, right? Yeah, so 
these guys can can absolutely get it. Um, these guys should be able to get it. Uh, and these guys, I think. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, they can. They can. They can. They can. They can. They can. Oh, I was thinking more of this guy, but um, the hedge is in the way, so. I mean, that's all going to come off, like, <laughs> immediately. Hey, like, look, you, you, get, know, you get six turns. You could assault move for a couple turns. <laughs> Make it easy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I have to capture all of the buildings. I know. It's kind of... Uh, honestly, this is, like, um, this is one of those scenarios of, like, pure maneuver. And once the once the tanks come into play, then it's like, all right, then you have to smash. Uh, you set up specifically for the vehicles. <laughs> but they're dangerous man that's um uh actually you know what i'm gonna bring up while you're you're doing moves and stuff i'm gonna bring up my pdf to see what what exactly their overrun is because it's probably gonna be crazy okay coordinates go are they overrun buildings um so i think technically they they should be able to there's also the oh these guys Right. I'll just use the Panzer 1B. Um, buttoned up overrun, 11. Not bad. Um, but yeah, you can drive into v, uh, into buildings as well and try to collapse them, but uh, I don't think it would do much in this scenario. I think it has to be a multi, uh, multi-story, I think, for it to do stuff. Yeah. All right. Get it up here. This is going to be sinking into the benches to there for giggles. So this guy is the exit. Okay. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Yep. Three, four. You got it. Five. Six. Okay. It's the exit. Mm -hmm. Same path to there for six. Okay. Seven, eight. Um. All right. Well, when you get there. Uh, eight down one. Uh, okay, that's a pretty good starting shot. Two on eight is a uh, one KIA. So that's random selection on who gets killed, right? Yeah. And then, um, of course, of course, it's the leader. Um, uh, and the other guy's broken automatically. But hey, not CX anymore. That's not positive. Oh, it's not. I know. It's, it's just trying to try to try to find something. I don't. I. It's the um, how do how do I put it? It's like I even if it's beneficial to me, I hate when I open up. Like the first shot of the game is like it's a twelve or it's a two. You know, it's. it's Kind of shitty that way. Oh, uh, first fire. Okay. Get your residual in there. Come on. Oh, yeah. I would not forget that. One, mm -hmm. two, yep, yep. Yep, you're good there. Yeah, those guys will get to F1, I think. Eight. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just 
Two. Okay. Three. Mm -hmm. Three. Six. Uh, yeah. Two. Three. Five there. Okay. Same. One, mm -hmm. two, okay. Bypass three, okay. Four, mm -hmm. five, okay. Six, seven. Um. We'll take a shot with the um, the machine gun. I'm not sure if I have. I should have vision. Yeah. Um, so it's, a, a down one, eight fire, uh, six fire power. What? What is that? Two on six is a one K. Jesus Christ. Uh, no residual. No, why not? Because uh, I got rate of fire, so if I if I put uh, residual, it would it would count as using it. Um, and the uh, your squad's broken as well. Wait, how many? Movement phase, uh, defense fire. Um, nothing. Uh, nothing extra. Um. Uh, we'll do these guys just to shoot at the broken guys. <sighs> Come on. Uh, four. I think my guys cower. Yeah, okay, check the. They'll probably cower. Four, two. It's a three on two. Uh, one MC and your sniper. Okay, so they're fine. You know, I was really counting on that activating. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's smart face. Um, yeah, because I can't see anything. Good. Uh, routes. They stay put. Mm -hmm. Three, four. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. I think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Through here, here, and here. Yeah. 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 I don't, don't. I'm pretty see sure I can. Get, see if we get LLS for that for these guys. I don't think so, no. Just barely, too. But yeah. Alright. Yeah, they're gonna go back there. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, let's see. Um, 
stream this. No, blast, okay. Alright. Alright. CC no. Rally phase. Uh, no weather change. You don't have anybody to rally. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't need it. So. Uh, DMs will come off. Yeah, I'm just, I was just curious if um, if mist is in play, does that mean rain is possible? I don't, I don't think it's the case. Uh, no, it doesn't look like, or at least not that I can, not that I can see. Uh, cool. So. Uh, rally phase, no rally phase actions. Prep fire. We'll do this guy against your CX guy. Eight up one. Seven. It's a. I want to say normal. But it's a one MC. Alright. Um. These guys will just shoot at your broken dude with the LMG. Uh, four on eight is uh, two MC. I'm not gonna bother shooting a second time. Uh, movement phase. So they're eliminated, aren't they? No, if no, no, they would just be a half squad because they were full squad and, and broke, right? I don't think you start with half squads. No, they were they were already a broken full squad. Yeah, yeah. so so they would just break. Uh, well, they're casualty reduced. Um, they would ELR. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they're going to ELR. Yeah. So they're eliminated, right? No, they would just go. They go down in quality. So. Uh, if they're a, a elite, they go down to first line. If they're a first line, they what's the chart for them? Probably second. Uh, yeah, they just go down to second. Actually, wow, that's weird. Legion does not go elite to first. It goes elite to second and first line to second line, which is strange. All right, hold on a second. A four, three, six. Oh, but it's four three six. Okay, no, that's not. Uh, not so they get out of the second line. You said from the lead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seems like a weird unit substitution ranking thing, but whatever. Um, movement phase. Honestly, uh, those guys are kind of gonna get the hell out of there. Yeah. Um, these guys are going to declare CX. I don't think anybody can see them, but if you can at some point, just let me know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think. Yeah, I don't know who could see them. Um, if anybody. Yeah, there's hedges and woods. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the guy with the LMG is just going to soft move to N9. That's kind of it. Um, defense fire phase. Um, the unit here will fire at the unknown unit in the house. There. Yep. So it's a four up three. This unit's gonna fire here. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, two. 
two, three. Sounds two is combat strike. Combat strike, nice. Uh, they are fake. And that's it. All right. Uh, no advanced fire phase. Um, we'll do to go perhaps a defensive uh, routes. Yeah. Um, nothing else. Uh, unless you want to move these guys. I don't want to jump the gun. They're going to drop the machine gun and move her out back to this area. Oh, they can keep the LMG because it's within their portage. Yeah, no, I don't want them to. Though. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um... They have to make a test to drop it. I'm not sure if they're allowed to, to drop it voluntarily, but whatever. For we'll, I can check that some other time. Um, okay, so no, sorry, right. they'll, they'll get back. It's cool. Um, we'll see. Okay, uh, advances. These guys are going to a building. Uh, these guys will oops, go in there. Um, these guys will go one back. And uh, leader with the ATR goes to R6. That's it. Uh, CC, we got ambush chance uh, in H1. Pretty sure you're stealthy, so you got a minus one. I don't think I have any modifiers. Uh, it's my where? Oh, you have ammunition shortages. In. That's true. I always, I've been forgetting that, but I haven't rolled high, so... Yeah, no, no. Which is um, is that a is that a packet roll for them being stealthy? I don't see that was. Uh, so I get a minus two for being concealed. Um, I am international brigades. Does it get me anything? Uh, international brigades. No. No spray fire. No smoke. No quarter. Yeah. So no. Uh, no ambush. My guy gets revealed. 447. Fighting 1 to 1. Uh, your CX, so I get a minus 1. That's it. Nothing. Ooh, uh, 1 to 1. Oh, I think it's just off. Yeah. Uh, but it's melee. Uh, that's it for turn 1. This guy needs a victory hex, I believe. Uh, you might be right. Turn to just to a road. Just to any road? It says the board forty-eight road. I don't know why, because there's two roads on board forty-eight. Hmm. Yeah, Actually, I mean, I mean, I don't that see that go as well. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I don't see why not. I think the only reason to not include them is um, if it came down to like this being the last one that needs to be controlled, I I'd just say there's no it they wouldn't count. Yeah, no, I, it's just it's a little bit in, in clearly were you know unclearly worded which which houses go where. So yeah, it's cool. No, it's fine. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Weather change. Nothing. Simple stuff. Uh, no, let's see. Rallies. Got plenty of rally. Um, I will try self rallying the undmed guy here. Yep. Nice. Just make it. And I don't have any broken stuff. Uh, I don't think you have anything either. No. Prep fire. Um, oh, uh, don't forget your reinforcements. We'll come in on two. Yeah, yeah. Get uh, two of them come in on turn two and two of them on turn three. With half their movement points, which, like, I frankly don't understand that one. I'm not sure if it's really needed, but...
like for for any comment I might have about like how like the vehicles come in with half MP, which I think is weird, that sort of stuff. It's strange because this scenario has apparently only ever been played twice, and it's been two nationalist wins. So I don't. I'd be very interested to see like what's the what the other ones have, have been like. I uh, imagine I like the tanks are going to run run amok. So. Well, we'll see. With my luck, what you're going to happen is you're going to ATR shot them from like you're going to fucking 360 no scope them from <laughs> across the, the map. Yeah. Uh, it, let's it, see. I believe there are no radios. Yeah. Uh, if you do show info on them, yeah, because we don't have the back, but I would imagine the uh, Germans might actually have radios on them. Uh, BS2, SD6, what the hell is that? So, um, it'd be like smoke dispensers, two T, uh, 2k dice rolls, so if you're shooting at a vehicle, you'd get two, two kills, because you have, like, twin MGs in the, in the tank, but you have radios. So you're good on that end. Oh, good. So I don't have to move them. Uh, to get yeah, them. no platoon movement, no like weird garbage like that. Yeah, judging by my PDF of, of the, the 1B, which I'm going to assume like our functionally identical for our purposes um i don't see anything glaring yep yeah, uh okay sorry uh one two three yep four yeah good five mm -hmm. six yep seven's there okay so seven in motion there or yep. so you okay so you're getting to 14 so when the second tank moves to l4 i'll shoot at him with the atr uh which is gonna be a pretty garbage shot regardless but uh so plus four plus six uh oh my god N uh, it's still a miss thankfully it's still a miss uh so what did i say what did i say <laughs> so you're you're good to continue i mean atr what, what would be my two kill anyways i think it's like a Five or six, something like that. ATR six, yeah. Uh, is it one extra for the extra vehicle? If so, I gotta back him up. Um. Oh right, because you start with. Uh, yes, it would be uh, plus one, but you could go into uh, M five and not have it cost anything extra. Because it would be fog, I, right? Um. If it's wet, I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's wet. If it's wet, I don't think you bog. I think it would be mud for sure, but not. Um... Let me see here. I feel like bog just because it's wet would be too crazy. Um... Rain chart. Uh, mud and deep snow. Yeah, I don't see anything for, for just because it's wet. All right, uh, so that's it for well. That, that was should have just set those up, but we have I have no prep fire, so it's all right. Oh yeah, it's over into movement phase. Let's just get rid of it. Yeah, no worries. Peter adds two movement factors. Correct. Board there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try uh, four flat. No. Also, is that against all my guys or just?
How are we gonna suffer ammunition shortage? Ammunition shortage. Oh, original twelve. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Two. Mm -hmm. Three, four. Okay. Repeat. Sure. One. Two. Three, four. Okay. Well, we'll definitely get revealed by the MMG group combo, so I will... I'll take a shot. Um, there is Hindrance. So, uh, it'll just be... well, just. It's a down two, uh, eight firepower. They don't cower. Um, four on eight. I think it's a two MC? Yeah, two MC. Alright. First and on a rate. Uh, actually, that's firepower. Defense um, fire. Uh, none. That's fire. Make sure, might as well. Uh, these guys will fire at these guys, so it's going to be uh, two up one. Yeah. It for my routes, I think you have any. Uh, no, I need to jump in you just because I like to put a big fat target on my hand. CC. We are all going to attack you. Uh, do we need yeah. to roll for ambush or because there's melee? No. No. Nah, when when you're reinforcing, you don't. Um, I'm just going to shoot at one one guy to stay at one one, but you're in three to one. Pretty sure it's. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I get my pound of flesh, I guess. Over to you. Right. Uh, weather, no change. Um, rally phase, actions, none for me. I mean, technically, uh, not for both of us. Uh, prep fire? Hmm. Oh, sorry. This email does come up. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you want, you can take it off. Um, these guys concealed. Not worth it. Yeah, we'll just do a four up one. Uh, get nothing. Prep fire. I think that's it. Um, yeah. Uh, movement phase 
take the CX off these guys. Um, they're not going to move. LMG guy is going to assault move down to N10. Uh, leader in the back is going to move. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Two and then four. Okay. And that's it. That's fire phase. These guys will open up at the mini machine gun. Okay. So it's going to be eight uh, up three. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Uh, it's an eight. No more morale. 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 Uh, okay, so I get to Heat of Battle. I am International Legions, which makes my Heat of Battle zero. Okay, eight is Battle Hardening. Wow. Uh, actually, they can't. So, or at least they can. Oh wow, they can. That's just all right. Uh, and your sniper. And I think they're fanatic as well. No, they they'll go fanatic if they battle harden again. But because they um, on the chart they can go up one. That's oh nice. That's a uh, probably a dead commissar. One four one nope. two three. These guys. Uh, uh, so squad breaks. Take anything you get at this point. Um, Let's see what that means. Uh, yeah, these guys are. Yeah, eight of one. Eight of one. Eight of one. Uh, another one MC. So one six break. on eight is yeah one MC. Hey, break. Yeah, these guys will fire over here. Um, line of sight is clear. The two, uh, two, two it's a up one, up two. It's a one because they're concealed. So one oh. up two. Uh, very close. Just missed. Yeah. That was worth it. I mean, sure. Why not? <laughs> the uh, the tanks will fire because I like that. Uh, what does the asterisk on the six mean? Uh, so I think it's to represent that it has um, uh, the two kill. If you um, if you do show info, um, I'm pretty sure it's just talking about how the dimension is because. If right, you're shooting right. a vehicle, you get two chances to kill something. Um, yeah, but it's six other ones. For fun. Um, so he's going to be halved. It's ha halved twice because you're in motion. So, so five. One and a half? Well, yeah, one and a half. Uh, up two? I don't. Did you, did you touch the orchard? Probably. If, if you touch the orchard, it's a, it's a plus three. Uh, no, it just be, it's just a straight shot. Any other one will not fire. That's kind of the, uh, kind what? Of the benefit of, of shooting, uh, like having these vehicles. Like you don't do two hits, so you don't have to worry about like button up or other like some of the other stuff to mess with you. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think that's all. That's all. Okay. So, um, fire phase. 
I was only thinking about it now. I could have probably sh uh, they would have probably got an extra one if I missed. Um, yeah, not really worthwhile shooting back. Uh, routes. I think this guy technically has to stay where he is. This guy. Hmm. Uh, he can route through, through K ten, right? To help him, or he can stay where he is. So he can't go closer. Um, the only problem is, is uh, he can't route to K ten because that's immediately closer to the tanks. Um, K one. May not be closer, but if he sees this guy, which he does, is closer. These guys, yeah. Uh, well, it's not. If he moves, he would have to be interdicted no matter what. But I, I'm just gonna leave him here. All right, it's fine. I'm not guessing where he is. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I can technically move him since he's in a building. Um, so, uh, stay there. Advance phase. We'll just. I don't think it's gonna matter, so we'll just move the commissar. Uh, yeah, sure. Are you actually commissar, commissar, or are you like super commissar where you don't shoot people? No, he's a, he's a, just a commissar. I think that shoots people. Um, what's the rules say? Commissar is available. Yeah, it doesn't say he's a a special commissar. I didn't, didn't, don't know if that's legitimate of the International Brigades, but you know what? I'm still going through the, the fascism in Spain book, so. Who am I to say? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's it. Uh, no CC. Uh, turn three. And uh, don't forget your reinforcements. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, this be the last turn. Oh, yeah, sure. Go. Place there. No way to change. Rallies. Oh boy. Um, hmm. We will try and rally this guy. Okay. Fail, but just barely. And that's it for me. If I have nobody that can rally, that guy loses DM. This guy loses DM. Yep. That's it. Fire. Uh, yeah, these guys are gonna fire at the machine gun. Okay. So eight up three. Mm -hmm. Nothing. That was weird. Sorry about that. Oh no worries. Fire movement phase. Oh yes, thank you for rotating the. Uh, the tanks yeah. One. Well, I figured like, it wouldn't make sense otherwise. So they're gonna go one, two, yep, three. Mm -hmm. Four. Yep. Five. Seven. Okay. Repeat and we'll stay in motion. Uh, it has to be one hex off. Is the additional cost? Yeah. All good. Salt move there. Okay. Go two, three, late CX, 
five, I believe. Is it more to go down? Uh, no, it shouldn't be more to go down. I'm more just uh, curious as to uh, that direction versus like I three or something. But that's just me being curious. visible from here. Uh, no, and I uh, no I three. I mean, I guess technically, if I was to shoot uh, before you went into the gully, yes. But I don't, I'm just being silly at this point, so don't worry about it. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, that that's inviting danger. Uh, four down two. Uh, five on four it might be an a, a normal. Five on four, one MC. Nice. Three. Uh, you're good. Filling up out of the gully an extra movement point. Uh, yes. Or it's double whatever the movement factor is. Yeah, but because it's all open ground, it should just be adding one. That being said, I think uh, if you were, for example, um, H3 to H2, uh, if you were to advance, you'd you should retain concealment because it's uh, it's concealment terrain, even if it's out of season. I think. Yeah, it's not going to help me because I don't know the tricks of ASL movement. So I'm going to fail this scenario because I don't have time enough halfway through, and I've captured one, two buildings. So, On yeah. honestly, this feels like a scenario to just like murder people. I'm not, I'm not sure how much. Uh, the other stuff as well. Well, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to murder people either. So that's two. Yep. Four to there. Um, okay. Well, the... Yeah, the squad uh, will shoot as a... Um, so eight down one. Yeah, eight down one, not using leader. Three on eight is a K two. Uh, they take a morale check. They don't want to meet in the break. Uh, so you're good. Do they think their morale is seven? Is that half score? Yeah, so they don't break or pin. Also, I need to put the full destroy. All right, well there, yeah, that's gonna be, um, the MMG is gonna be used for that as well. Uh, so squad, uh, is subsequent as a four eight down three. Three on uh, eight is a K two, really. Now the leader doesn't take a um, morale check, but the squad will. One. 
Uh, you good? Jim? Uh, you're still good. Three? Mm -hmm. Four? Uh, okay. And stop. Alright. Now, actually, um, so I'm going to suggest a thing, because this is a, a it's a common tactic, and uh, honestly, like everybody uses it, even if it's a little sleazy. So, um, you, it was what, five to get there? Four. Four? Okay, so, um, instead of ending there, what you do is you go uh, into bypass, we'll say on, on like this hex side, you don't have to change your covered arc. Uh, or, or do anything else crazy, um, or at least pretty sure you don't have to. Uh, and when you stop there, it immediately reveals these guys because it's called the they call it um, vehicle bypass movement sleaze freeze. And essentially, what it does is um, when the tank gets there, it it, uh, it automatically reveals a unit. There maybe there's something funky about it being buttoned up or not, whatever. I'm not going to care about it right now. Um, uh, okay, and it, I'm going to just say that is the absolute dumbest rule I have ever seen. Why so, the so, hell would the... Uh, anyway. So, if, it might be that you have to be unbuttoned, but the point ultimately ends up being that um, you can you reveal the squad, and the other issue is that... Uh, actually, it might it must, it must be that it has to be unbuttoned. Anyways, we're not going to worry about it right now. Um, but the... The bigger limiter is that a vehicle being in the same hex, um, my guys can't shoot out now. They're, they would be stuck to uh, targeting that that uh, tank. Which you might say, like, well, that's silly. Like, well, they know they can't do anything against the tank. And you're right. But it's, it's, um, it's a limitation in the rules, essentially. Yeah, so, so to anybody yeah. who's watching... That's how you use sleaze freeze. Except this is why ASL is renowned for being dumb as hell in some <laughs> some situations. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree because I I have the same like uh, someone who would complain about sleaze freeze it is I have the same understanding towards um, uh, skulking. I think skulking is worse personally, but anyways, that's a discussion for other other stuff. That's that. And the benefit, too, of the tank being like this is that you also get the double firepower. Um, there, there's a chance that I could uh, I could do something like CC reaction fire. Like, it's a little easier, technically. But, um, uh, yeah, it also makes it a pain in the ass. Also, I think I have to take a Patsy, now that I think about it. Because you're entering in my hex. I don't think it's a location thing. Um... DC placement, one patsy, overruns, extraction. Uh, no, it might it might just be if I'm advancing into it. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, either way. Either. Uh, what's the deal with ATR rifles? They're just one firepower. They can actually hurt tanks. Is that the idea? Yeah, they can they can shoot it at infantry and and they're sneaky in the sense that if you were trying to um, let's say you know my leaders in T eight um, because of the range of the ATR I can interdict out to you know twelve hexes so it, it can catch people out who are trying to uh, route um, but yeah otherwise it's it's more just something to uh, to shoot at tanks with or vehicles with what. Two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's two to there. Yep. Three. Mm-hmm. Four. Yep. Five. Mm-hmm. Six and bypass. Uh, okay. Seven and bypass. Uh, okay. Eight. Mm-hmm. Nine. Uh, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I think, think I, I have think to. I have you know to what? Uh, four. 
Okay, so you are in motion for plus two. Um, I gotta go through all these modifiers here. Um, you're in motion for plus two. There is a plus one because you're a small vehicle. Uh, so it's plus three right there, so it's at eight. Um, I've seen you for more than one MP. Technically, I think I've seen you for three or more. Um, okay. So there's no, there's no extra. There's no extra one. Uh, you're in motion, so I don't get point blank range. I think I think it's just a, a hit. No, nothing too crazy. Um, no, miss. Also, I don't have rate of fire. Because it'd be six down by one. Yeah, there's no way. Even with um, range of modifiers. So that's nine to there. Okay. Ten. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Yep. Twelve. Okay. Thirteen. All right. And one to stop. That's fourteen. All right. Also... Uh, you can make, um, uh, cause I, I assume the goal would be to potentially shoot at that leader. And if that's the case, so to move the, it's got a turret, right? Yeah, so. yeah. And you get to freely move when you're spending, um, when you're spending movement points, you get to freely move your turret as much as you want. Yeah. Sounds good. Fire. Uh, you do I want to do anything else? Yeah, they're broken. I might as well. Um, these guys will reveal and they'll shoot at you guys in K6 as a four up one. What the? Yeah. Average 5.5 5 sounds like the cheesy dice I've had all, all game. Um,. Sorry, that was a four, so it's a five. Five on four and one MC. Alright, they're okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really think it's worthwhile to keep that. Uh, these guys just do the same shot, except uh, there's no hindrance. Uh, and it's a four firepower flat. Uh, they will cower. Uh, so it's a pin test check. All right. Some super soldiers right there. And that's it. And that's our face. Well, sure, why not? Uh, the tanks up here will fire. Yep. So this tank will fire at the unit in the house. Yeah, so because it's an advanced fire, it is halved, but it's still six uh, up to. Nothing. Uh, the other one will fire at the leader in the house. Mm -hmm. There's a stone building, so it's going to be up three. Yeah. So, yeah. So, six up. Wow, rate of fire is only one? That sucks. That I don't get. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, let's see. We, uh, the unit here will fire at the guys in the house just because. Okay. So yeah. that's going to be uh, two, two, two. Four, up two. Yeah. Uh, these guys will fire here, so that's going to be a four up one. Mm hmm. Power to a two? Yeah, but it's five on two should be normal? Yeah. Normal. Alright. They're they're gonna die anyway, so. Yeah, we'll see. Uh okay. Uh, I think that's it for advanced for route. Sweet. Um hmm. Let's 
So I think these guys are dead. No, they can go down into the trench, I guess, but I think technically they have to go back to here, yeah? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so, so, um, technically, I think they're closest. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's closer to these guys, so yeah, it's. I think that or that is my choices. So the the problem ends up being, uh, are your guys, what are your guys? They look like a regular military? I yeah, think. they're just... Okay, so it's going to be the same, I think, for both of us, in that um, these guys can't run away without being interdicted, because they can't go to J5 because they're closer to these guys. Um, and anywhere else is interdiction. So I think they have to surrender to my guys in here. Similar to these guys. That you know, I'm going to call it. I, I, I'm not going to be able to kill enough of your guys. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, like... Yeah. It's, so. it's like, unless, unless you could somehow kill everybody with the tanks, and I don't... It's, that's just too crazy. Frankly, like, yeah, these the dice I had were monster dice. I don't understand how that was that consistent. Yeah, it happens. I mean, you know. Yeah, but it's just kind of like, you, you're on the receiving end, and then you give it out, and you're like, uh, this is just... Especially, so the, the thing that, like, honestly um, would have been something, like, I might have called right away is is losing both leaders. Um, I know you, you know, you've got this guy left, but like, yeah, no, there, there's not much. I mean, that you can't that rally. Just went away, yeah. You just can't rally. So yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be very difficult to get back any other troops. I mean, I got three broken squads basically, or two broken squads and a half squad. Um, yeah, no, I got a lot of open ground, and the tanks are gonna be handy. But you guys are all in buildings, so it's, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, and and like, the only thing, um. What's the other special condition? Because it's like, if there are, oh, it's it's just anywhere on the map. Yeah, like, as long as I have three good order squads, like, there's no way that even. I'm trying to think like. Yeah, no, there's there's too many houses. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, come on. Yeah, that's kind of why like I would also not include these ones because those ones just seem so far away, but. So, so the um, the cheesy thing that you could technically do, and this is a this is actually a rule that a lot of scenario designers eventually took out of um, of some of these scenarios, or like were more cognizant of, is uh, you can voluntarily abandon a vehicle. Um, so essentially, you know, you you take these tanks, you go well, the the you've got ATR, so what's the point, right? So. You, you load them up on, say, there, because I don't think you're stuck to a road. No, you can enter anywhere. So you go, you come in from, like, the furthest possible angle, right? You you get halfway. The next turn, you follow the road. You get to here, and then you go, all right, well, my guys are ditching their vehicles. So you when you ditch it, you get to the inherent crew. So you now have, uh, you know, two 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 sevens I think, or two two eights. Um uh, should be these guys. So you have one, two, one, two sevens that you can then be like, okay, well, uh, after they, they ditch um, in the movement, uh, they assault, they advance. So you start claiming buildings with vehicle crews, which obviously is super cheesy, but it's why it's that rule uh, exists. So it's sort of like how um, uh, a lot of earlier scenarios did not take into account or were not maybe not like cognizant or didn't understand the um the implications of it but uh you'd see um some of the players would would say like okay well on turn one let's say like my nine one is in here instead with a squad and you go turn one my guy starts a fire sure it'll cost um it'll cost the the uh the building like that one building for the victory condition but what ends up happening is you create smoke right so because smoke drifts smoke also increases 
the movement cost to go through that hex by one. So if this blazes or like you burn, say, this orchard and it spreads, now you're just generating all this extra smoke everywhere that is a grind to get through and just like much more of a, a hazard so you're trading time yeah. for, for i, I really different... this feels like one of those ones where you have to know exactly what the movement cost is you have to have your movement planned out nothing can go wrong and because i mean six six turns it's a lot of houses it's a yeah lot of houses. again i think it's why like it's very much a scenario that relies on on killing people instead and the um, other thing too that that uh obviously can't be stressed enough is i rolled really well i didn't get any um low ammo like ammunition shortage stuff uh and frankly speaking like i looking at it me having 10 squads uh and you having 11 i know you have vehicles but like panzer ones oh like they're not that they're not that crazy and um I mean, at this point, they're just mobile, what, mini Kill machine boxes. guns? Yeah, yeah, mobile mini machine guns, essentially. Yeah, they just go around and and buzz people. Now, obviously, if, if uh, you know, if this vehicle gets into this hex, when my guys are out in the open, and you're doing a, an 11 down 2 shot uh, from Overrun, it's, it's powerful. But because of, uh, I think this map, the way that, like, everything is just separated by one hex of road... It also done, it doesn't punish um, the the Republican player if they move. Like, like oh, these guys are going to be sacrificed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like these guys are going to be sacrificed. Maybe this squad. Everybody else is like, okay, well, in my movement, two, four, six, and then you know, or two, four, get to there, advance. Next turn of movement, dash, and then you know, repeat the cycle. Um, yeah, and I think don't you also get the ability to like actually jump the tanks if they come into the village? So there is street fighting. Um, you have to have uh, buildings on either side of the hex, so it's kind of like encirclement, um, and it allows you to sort of jump in, attack a, a vehicle while they're still moving and doing stuff, and then immediately pull out. Um, I would have to do a passy check, so I could get pinned doing that, but the um, the risk isn't all that great for for the the republican player um just because the tanks are so like they're not even super strong like um all things considered the the fact that the the panzer one only gets you know six uh six firepower or um more accurately like only gets uh 11 as an overrun number is a little low considering you know, what like its armament is and the style at the time yeah i mean i, I don't know it, it's kind of interesting in a certain sense but i feel like the map is a little bit large yeah like i i feel like there's a lot of running room like it's a couple turns to get up there like even if i'm sprinting mm -hmm. so the, the thing that shocked me too is um my setup is i don't know if like maybe that's like an errata thing that just like nobody ever noticed but it's so weird to me that i can deploy from e to x on these boards and it's like well why wouldn't i set up here you yeah, know like cool. why would you not take advantage of all that open ground like that that i, I find strange i'm not i'm not quite sure like like even oh you know what maybe I might have done this guy wrong. Looking back on it, uh no board th never mind board thirty three, that's fine. Yeah so it's kind of like I could set up at on the E like yeah no I know it's... <laughs> like why you know like I could see it if this was like an eight turn like seven or eight turns like give me you know. Mm hmm yeah give give at least some safety for for the um, amount of units that are available to you but i'm trying to figure how i like i guess i find it also <laughs> punishing that the your vehicles come in on a half mp i i find that that's like a little bit too too uh hurtful because you can't like i mean obviously we experienced it right like you can't get anywhere really 
um, with seven movement, like, you know, you can get the Q6, but you're only putting yourself in harm's way. You're losing that first turn of, um, of movement no matter what. So. Yeah. Um, I'm also thinking, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if the move is to concentrate everybody like on one flank here to kind of try and sweep in, but there's mm. a, man, that's a, just an immense amount of open ground, you know? Yeah. Like I could see down if... here, the terrain is a little bit better, but there's still like, that's a big, pretty big fire lane for anybody from here. You're able to shoot there. If you start stacking up over the side, you can fire through here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gets ugly once you get to like onto that board, like immediately. Yeah. You know? And even there, you're still looking at a couple of hexes. So yeah, I guess I could do it. Do I, I? I don't know. Do I get the smoke exponent or no? No. Um, I'm pretty sure there's no smoke. But uh, what's the thing say? Yeah, no smoke. Infantry. Yeah, so, but, so I don't have the smoke. So okay, there's that. I have no heavy weapon. I mean, I got one LMG, or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, two LMGs, which is like, yeah, okay, yay, great. Um, but it's not. It's not even like you can put too much into it, anyways, because mist is going to. To negatively impact it, even if you want to shoot, you know, at that seven range. Yeah, and, yeah. And there's no, there's no real good place to put them either. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess I could put them in this house and kind of fire in down here, but okay, great. I mean, I'm that's too firepower, you know. I mean, it's nothing. I guess, like I said, these are like basically mobile machine guns for this particular bit, but they're not going to get anywhere until turn four. Like these guys are just starting to get in there, so. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess I could have off-roaded them like through here, you know, to try and come in this way and, and make you shoot at me. Yeah, but... like there's there's also like a, a consideration, I guess, for like armored assault, but I still don't think that's really like essentially you would move. Do infantry have to fire on armor if it's closer? Is there any kind of like rule like that? Um. So so uh, aside from the mention, like if you're in the same oh, hex, yeah. you technically yeah. have to shoot, but. Uh, otherwise, if you shoot at, um, uh, let's say, uh, your tank moves and they're unbuttoned, and I'm like, oh, I'll shoot at them anyway. So you shoot at them, maybe it, it buttons them up, maybe it does nothing. The next unit that moves uh, in, in their view, um, I'm trying to think of like a, a good example here. Okay, so let's say this tank, uh, and I'm going to end the log file just so it's not... Uh, filling that up but okay so this tank let's say it gets to here and i'm like oh i'm gonna reveal my guy and, and shoot at him right so atr shows up blah shoots at him if this guy uh in l10 then moves over here i can't shoot further uh, away than the nearest unit as a subsequent so yeah but there's nothing that like forces you to fire so like if i move my tank in here trying to give them some cover for the the guys like you can still just fire right past the tanks of the infantry company yeah the the um, one exception uh or the one uh caveat i guess is is that uh by stopping you do create um a hindrance uh, with your vehicle so you can quote unquote break up the terrain that way and like and and uh, add obstacles but it's still just a plus one hindrance, you know, like it, it'll remove uh, moving through open ground because um, it is LOS hindrance. But again, like it's uh, it's such a limited form that is it is it tremendously useful? No. Uh, is it good to have anyways? Yes. Like there's cases to be made for it. So it's um, whatever. Yeah, I, mean, if kind I, of this again, I think I probably would use the tanks. To each of them. Like I think I would have. Uh, just offer to them immediately through here to try and give give my guys some cover. I mean, if nothing else, it's a two, it's a couple six firepower attacks coming at you, um, which is not nothing, even if you're in buildings. Yeah, and and I mean, if we're being honest, like if I was to check your your stats, I'm sure your IFT rolls are like eight average. Like there there was, you know, it's especially. IFT is 6.3, that's... Well, that's this one and the previous one. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so... Um, so we'd have to take the last three turns. So... Uh, I don't know, you'll have to do that with your... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to do with that. Which, yeah, honestly, like, 
it definitely felt like um like you just weren't you, you couldn't get low uh, dice rolls like for example the only time you rolled really low at least that like made an impact that i remember was when you shot at these guys with this and it was an amazing roll and then i roll a two and a three like yeah, no, it was it was just it was a little bit frustrating. I think it diced a bit. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I, I feel like this is a scenario where you have to be excellent at plotting movement because yeah. if you're not, you're not gonna be able to do it. And I am just not there yet. And that's not a, you know, I'm not whining or anything. That's just <laughs> not not the not the way it goes. And the dice didn't help. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. But uh, you know, just in general, I I could see that it was you know. Yeah. And, and, you know, the, um, the thing that should always be remembered is that uh, on a, on a scenario like this, and we'll see plenty of these in the future, obviously, but, uh, on scenarios where the, the unit density is lower, any sort of major swing is felt exponentially greater, right? So as soon as you, as soon as you lose a unit, it's way more impactful than if you had 80 on a side and, you know, you lose one. Yeah, no, definitely. no, no. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, I think it's kind of interesting. I, I feel like it needs some tuning, particularly mm. in the major conditions. Like, I think it might be more interesting if there's like, you know, you have to capture like the crossroads kind of thing, you know? Or yeah. Things. Like if, if it was, um, uh, maybe two hexes from Q, Q5. Yeah, yeah, not not every little dinky ass like you know, <laughs> not like those. I mean, technically, those are like what is the road, the forty gate road? Is it this one? You know, is it this one? <laughs> you know, because that has big impacts. Like if it's just this one, for example, then these houses don't matter, right? You know, and if it's just this one, then some of the houses up here don't matter, and the houses out here don't matter. I kind of think they mean the diagonal one, um, as far as we're looking at it. Just because that's got the majority of the buildings, but uh, you know, I don't know. That needs some clarification in my mind because technically, you got these little outliers here that you gotta devote units to. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess that also, you know, should be mentioned like for for people in the long run with us that future, much like the um, preventing voluntarily abandoning vehicles and like kindling is not available, etc. That's also something that becomes more and more common is justifying like they'll say like specifically the I-10 to Y-1 road, you know, they'll make sure yeah, it's uh... it'll be, it'll be clear. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Saros is okay. I mean, you know, it needs some tweaking, I think, but that's, we've certainly played worse. <laughs> oh yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me see. I'm just going to quickly check what the next one is just to kind of give us a, uh, you know, a, a, a taste of what's to come. Ooh, a lot of vehicles. Uh, you get a 20 millimeter AA gun. Um, what else? What else? What else? Six tanks for me. Five for you. You get two flamethrower tanks. Shit. Uh, I'm going to. Was oh, it nationalists again? I'm sorry. I, I, so it's, we... it will be Italians versus Republicans. Um, it is eight and a half turns. I think I'm attacking. Wow. Uh, two boards, so it's not actually huge. Be like four. There you go. So, uh, it's going to be the interesting scenario. Um, Republicans must control a game and all buildings, noticing a theme, uh, on board 42 between rows B and K, um, which is probably going to be a lot. Uh, seems to be a, a good forest, what looks like a valley, if it's not a river, some grain, which is maybe not going to be in effect because it's March. Um... But yeah, uh, eight squads for you with a lot of support weapons. It's basically kind of the reverse um, of, of this scenario in a way. Uh, you get two flamethrower tanks, which are going to be crazy. Uh, and definitely something I'm going to try and kill immediately. Uh, Is that an AA on a, on a platform? Yeah. Oh, nice. Woo, yeah, covered yeah. arcs. Go away. 
<laughs> essentially. You will still have some, but it's but turning a turning the gun would be and it's a turntable. Yeah, it, but like turning uh, turning the gun would be one. I think a max of one or a one to zero zero something like that. Um, it's in the two hit uh, thing. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, fair amount of support weapons. In, infantry gun. Like you get some. Tanks. Uh, you get the the anti tank L three, which is like super funny because it's super rare. It has like an ATR in it. Um, Ooh, I get two firepower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the that's the coax. You're you're looking at the wrong thing, my friend. Those are those are flamethrowers. The F thirty two is hull flamethrower, thirty two firepower. Um, I'm sorry, which the L three LF, Lancia Flam, or at least I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Lancia Flam, Flam. Dude, thirty two firepower. That's uh, hot. That is the other one has a is that a thirty or a twenty millimeter gun? I can't see the. Uh, I think it's so it's a twenty uh, twenty millimeter for the AA. Um, the L three CC is a twenty millimeter long. Uh, I think they have the same. Gun. Uh no, it's uh. Um, surprise me. No no no, the AA gun is definitely bigger, um, or longer. Uh, and the L three thirty five is just kind of like, you know, something to be annoying with. Yeah, it's the tank. Also, the other thing too is, uh, I forget if the flamethrower tank has them or the anti-tank uh, tankette has them, but they'll probably all be radioless, just like mine, just like my my T twenty six BT fives. Um, yeah, those BT fives are speedy and they've got some armor, a little bit of armor. Yeah, I mean they're more armored than everything else, and uh, the forty-five L is definitely going to be something to um, to try and abuse, like where possible, because I will have the range advantage. Now, um, what does the circled armor mean? Uh, circled is it's inferior on um, the sides, I think. So if you're shooting at it from the front uh, front turret, I think it's two, but a side turret. Uh, would be one armor, um, and a square is the reverse. It would be uh, increased oh. by one. Oh, boo, boo! It's mud. Boo! There's mud. Yeah. Uh, well, it just means there's more chance to to. Uh, actually, that's yeah, that's probably even better for you as a defender because uh, yeah, I would have no, to risk. I, I don't know. I just like I like tanks. <laughs> um. Ri yeah, river on board doesn't exist. It's just a valley. Road hexes are paved, which is actually really nice because that means that um, uh, you don't suffer bog as much or at all, I think. Um, Italians may set up hip. Guns can't set up hip, which is actually pretty nice. Boar sighting not allowed, which is super nice for me. Santa 4 too on your side. That's pretty dangerous. It's going to be an interesting... Uh, I don't know, I had a Santa 5, you'd think that would be a little more dangerous. And didn't hit it, what, once? And it didn't activate? So. Oh, for uh, Toledo? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is probably just me having really poor, <laughs> poor rules. Yeah, well, yeah. But, um, alright, sick. So, um, do you want me to build the, the maps and then send it your way, or does not matter? my page here um i am setting up no i can put them together it's okay. no big deal. i'll throw them together and send them over to you and you can put a look at them if you want cool 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 so uh we'll see you next week see you next week i uh, hope your roommate um fucks off i guess <laughs> i am only glad that he will never watch this video <laughs> Hey, roommate, you're a dick. Stop <laughs> hanging out with people that get COVID. Put a mask on. <laughs> All right, everybody. Stay safe. <laughs> Good night. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> COVID sucks. I've had it. It's not fun. Yeah. I've been lucky, so. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It sucks. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, buddy. Yeah, man. I'll see you next week. <laughs> 
Uh, and as for everybody watching, uh, as always, thanks, thanks for watching, thanks for for participating and, and hanging out. Um, this one was um, ups and downs, I think, from from both sides. Uh, I still don't know if I if I will put uh, El Alcazar de Toledo as a as a victory, and a, I feel like the game was swinging enough to maybe put it as a tie, but I don't know. Maybe someone will grill me on that one at some point. Um, this one is just very much a dice game, uh, which which we've seen from from time to time, uh, which is unfortunate. But I, I I think we've both come to the to the conclusion that this one seems like an uphill battle um, for uh, for the nationalists. So in any case. Uh, should be bringing uh, you the Flight of the Intruders, uh, another FT scenario. Uh, I think 127, 147. Uh, so look forward to that on Saturday. Um, and uh, potentially a squad leader. I'll try to get a squad leader stream maybe tomorrow or something. I don't know. I keep saying maybe tomorrow and it doesn't happen. So we'll see. Uh, I'll probably get something uh, sneaky going with that. And a uh, game next Tuesday to continue this Spanish Civil War stuff. So as always, thanks for watching and have a good night.